Hi everyone and welcome back to Starfield. We are in the well of New Atlantis. We were here uh, investigating some things for Mateo in order to deal with uh, Unity or understand what Unity is and we did that and while we're down here I thought we would just take a minute to interview, I suppose is the right word, uh, the sources for the SSN, SSNN office. And uh, uh, hopefully these are quick little things and we can then get that knocked off the list. And then I thought before moving on to Unity um, and returning to Keeper Quillis, we would just go ahead and help Sarah uh, with her quest. And along the way, we can go talk to Vlad about uh, locating more temples. So I think that's a plan. We probably won't get through everything today, but uh, we'll see We'll see how far we proceed in the meantime. So let's go investigate uh, the next person, which I think seems to be in this building here, I'm assuming. Yeah, here we go. And then it looks like there's one beyond. Uh, looks like a, uh, I don't even know where I am. So, electronics? Is that what it was? I probably should have read the quest a little bit better. Yeah, it's broken. Electronics. <laughs> looks about right when you go into an electronics store. All right, let's talk to no this. No lawyering, okay? I don't have the patience for it. Okay, I'm sorry. Henrik, I have to ask you something. Can't say I'll have what you need, but you're welcome to look. I like the things on his face. Um, well, you know, I'm coming to interview uh, from SSNN, and I'd like to ask some questions about your business. A reporter? Um, Fine, but I'm only talking basics. I don't like people snooping around my business. Uh, well, will you tell me a little bit more about yourself? Name's Henrik. I own Apex Electronics. That's all I'm willing to say to some nosy reporter. Okay. So, well, how have things been in the well recently? How the hell do you think? Life's a mess down here. I'm not holding my breath for it to get any better. Great. So, <laughs> thanks. How are things going here at Apex Electronics? Door's still open, isn't it? That's my idea of success. Sorry if you were hoping for something more flowery. Um, no, you know, that's, uh, that's fine. Um, I might want to do some shopping here later, but, you know, I think we have enough to go on now. Thanks. Great. Now, why don't you help me out and buy something? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Maybe, but I like those things on his face. I wonder what those are. Okay, so who's behind here? So I help out Henry here? from time to time. Must Not very around. often these days. Okay. But that's fine. Maybe we'll be back, Vincent. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Vicente. Okay, so let's... It doesn't look like we can get behind... Oh, this is secure access. So it's over... It must be over on this side. Hello, sir. Oh, let's go talk to this person. Oh, maybe we can have dinner here or something. Kay's house. Oh, I bet you that's the nurse over there. That's who else we have to speak with. All right, let's go talk to Kay. Oh, look at this cute little place. Always nice to see a fresh face around here. You stop in whenever you'd like. Oh, oh Everyone's thank you, Everyone's welcome, so long as you keep your hands to yourself. Sure. Understand? Yes, of course, Teresa. I think... trouble in here. Yeah, no problem. Um, can I speak with you for a minute? No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Keeps us on our toes. Nothing else? Oh, sure, yes. Yeah. So I'm with the SSNN, and I would like to ask you a few questions about your business. Absolutely. I'm sure my mom would be proud to have the place featured in an article. What's up? Um, can you tell us more about yourself? Yeah, sure thing. I'm Teresa Mason, and this is my home. My mom's the K who founded K's house. 
I grew up here along with the business. My mom passed the place on to me when she decided to retire. Running it is my pride and joy. I've put everything I have into it. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. So how are things going here in the well? <sighs> Same as ever. I've lived in the well my whole life, and things have never really changed. The UC government promises to clean the place up every couple years, but there's still just as much crime and poverty as there was when I was a kid. That's why Kay's house is so important. It's the one place people in the well feel safe. Be sure to put that in the article, okay? I'm really proud of it. Yeah, no problem. Um, how are things going with your business late lately? <clears throat> business is steady, <clears throat> as usual. We don't tolerate violence or disrespect, so a lot of folks like to spend time here. The only thing that's worrying me is a new group of customers I've seen hanging around lately. They've been watching the UC Surplus store pretty closely. Oh, really? I have a bad feeling they might be planning something. Kay's house has a reputation as a safe place. I don't want to be associated with that kind of thing. <clears throat> you know, why don't I look it into that for you? Honestly, I'd really appreciate that. I'd feel terrible if something happened and I hadn't done anything to try to stop it. Why don't you come by when you have some spare time? And we'll talk it out. You know what? Thank you. Um... We'll be right back. We'll go check out these suspicious activities. Great. Let me know when the article comes out, will you? I'd like to read it. Yeah, sure, you know no problem. This place has stood for so long. I make sure everyone's comfy. I tell it like it is, and I don't take any shit. <laughs> All right. That's the way to do it, huh? All right. Suspicious. Um. You know what? Let's go talk to the med lady. Um, doctor? I'm not sure. Who we're, exactly we're talking to, but this looks like a doctor. Okay. Um, I've got limited resources, but I try not to turn anyone away just because they're light on credits. Sure. Hi, doctor. Can we speak we're with you? We're doing the best we can here. That's all we can ever do. Exactly. Um, I'm with the SSNN, and can I ask you some questions about your business for an article? A journalist? That's a surprise. Most people don't think anything that goes on in the well is worth writing about. I'd be happy to help if I can. Great. So, can you tell us more about yourself? Sure, if you'd like. My name's Talia. I was born and raised right here in the well. I've been the nurse here at the Med Bay for... Over a decade now. Oh, she's a nurse. Oh, okay. Once upon a time, I was a combat medic for the UC Navy. When the colony war ended, I came back to the well to put my skills to use for the people here. Okay. Uh, thank you. How have things uh, been in the well recently? Things are always the same in the well. Violent and dangerous. Mm. I swear I treat more injuries here than I did when I was a Navy medic. Oh, really? Uh, so, how are things going at the med day? Med Bay. Things are always rough at the Med Bay. I'm mm -hmm. the closest thing to a doctor that the well has, and I can't treat everyone. The last few weeks have been especially bad. There's some kind of infection going around, and a lot of kids down here are catching it. What? It just breaks my heart to see. Oh. Okay. Sure. Let's, um... Yeah, let's help you out with that. Sorry to hear. Oh, you're sweet to offer. There might be something you can do, if you're willing. Let's chat again when you have some time to spare, all right? Okay, thank you. Uh, I think we have enough to go on. All right, dear. You let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. Okay. Um, should we check out that suspicious activity? Whoops, hold on. Um... Oh, we have to speak to... Okay, I got it. We have to speak to them later. Um, I want to kind of keep on track and maybe visit the well later because I think there's another uh, mission down here. Um, all right, let's uh, head back up to surface and uh, return to Nadia with our information and 
then we should head out to Cassiopeia and visit Vlad on the way. You have another story for me? You have that look in your eye. What's the scoop? Hey, that's great! Thanks so much. Did everything go all right? That's why stories like this one are so important. If people knew what was going on down there, maybe they'd want to help fix it. I can't thank you enough for helping me out. I'll send you a copy of the story if it gets published. <laughs> There's nothing like seeing your name in print. Hope to see you again. Hey, Dad! Wanna hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku, huh? Well, it sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. It's called Space. <coughs> space is cold and dark. Starships fly there like comets, carrying us home. It's not bad. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll copy down, too. You know how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture Inspiring. of Nibbles the comedy Here we go. Orbital insertion achieved. We're spacebound again. Constellation Star Station LO868. Welcome aboard. Haven't set foot on the eye for ages. Hope Vladimir is in a good mood today. In reference to Vladimir, I am told that solitude can either be beneficial or detrimental, depending on the personality. The Spanner's Torque is what the eye needs now. We'll fix our good as new. Been washing red here and there all over the station. Grim work. Found one. Easy as a needle in the stack. Hope those powers you're getting to overinflate you. Got enough eagles in Constellation. Never minded the solitude before, but chasing more ghosts than usual. Every noise seems to set the blood running. Hey.
and the darkness gets lit just a candle more. Good to be back on board. Is something amiss? Textbook there. We're free. What is it? I can't believe I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. been nearly 20 years, but it feels like a lifetime. Strangely, this place looks exactly the same as I remember it. But that isn't possible, right? Just like a dream. Oh, thank you. Right now, I feel like I need all the help that I can get. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Yes, yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Knowing that is the only reason that I'm here. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the cruise shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go.
Greetings, Captain. This is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? I'm surprised you've never heard of the place. It's a resort colony in the Parima system. You know, a place to get away and unwind? Maybe we should head out there after we're done. Goodness knows we'll both need a vacation. Oh, I never said I walked away. When my ship hard landed on the surface, it broke apart. There was no fire, but I was... Well, I was pretty badly injured had to crawl from the wreckage. When they finally rescued me, the UC medics said I had three broken ribs, shattered my ulna, and had internal organ damage. I was in the medical ward recovering for almost six weeks. It was difficult and painful, but it kept me alive. It was home. Look at this thing. It's been sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. No, I'm afraid that it can't. It's only designed to power individual systems. Even if it could, my old shuttle is far too damaged to be fully restored.
Sure, we have plenty of power cells on the ship, but they're not UC military grade. They won't work. I'm afraid we'll have to do some scrounging. Sure, if we're lucky. When I was stranded, I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. Setting up this beacon probably saved my life. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. Gonna bury you! school there.
Let's see if they've got anything worth taking. Oh, now I've lost my appetite.
We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. Don't even joke. If this data is faulty and we end up being pointed to a pile of rocks, oh, I don't even know what we'd do next. I'm fairly certain I was able to capture all the data before I hit the ground. I'll try not to worry about it if you won't. Well, we're not there yet, but damn, it does feel good. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. Hello. All right, let's get this crate into space. Yes, you need me? service, Captain.
look at this view. Had I been on this planet under more pleasant circumstances, I might have had more time to appreciate the beauty it has to offer. That's what those look like on the inside. Judging from this debris, the crew's shuttle sustained far more damage than my own. Oh, those poor souls. what's left of the crew's shuttle, but it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? Here, supplies, a shelter, and the fire. 
fire is still fresh. Is there someone here that's still alive? I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh, my God. Who are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? The crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here. Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents. Your mum and your dad. What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh and Corporal Elias Oberist. You're their daughter. Listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. Yeah? Well, I wish you wouldn't have taken so long. My parents are dead. My father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona? <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah.
Phew. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. Whew. Yeah. That's probably good advice. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory. What is it? Bunch of jerks. They pretended to be nice, but they were really mean. They made all these promises. They said they'd take me with them if I helped them load all of my stuff onto their ship. When I went to get the last bit of stuff that I had hid, they already took off and flew away. I think I cried for a whole day. You sound just like my mom. She was always telling me, it's okay to be upset all the time. Only problem is, it never made me feel better. When I get older, if I ever see those jerks again, I'm going to make them give me all my stuff back. Bunch of jerks. They made all these prom when I went to get the last bit of... I don't know. There was one lady and two guys. The lady was the one pretending to be nice to me. They were wearing spacesuits and had all kinds of guns. One of them had a big scar on his face. They looked pretty scary. I think I heard one of them say they were from the fleet or something like that. Sounded weird to me. Yeah, sure. Grown-ups always say that they're sorry right after something bad happens. But it's just words. It never really helps. When I get older, if I ever see those jerks again, I'm gonna make them give me all my stuff back. Mom was a doctor on her ship, so she taught me how to gather food and medicine from the plants. She also taught me how to shoot this gun, in case bad people or monsters tried to get me. Didn't help me save her, though. Mom had slates with learning stuff on them. She used them to teach me how to read and do science. Oh, and math, too. Ugh. I think we looked at that stuff every day. She called it School time. I miss that. I miss her, too. Fine. Go ahead. Mom told me Dad got hurt when their ship crashed on this planet. He was always lying down and sleeping a lot. But I don't know what made him so sick. I was really little when he died, so I don't remember a lot about him. Well, every day my mom would go up to the graveyard to visit dad. Sometimes she'd let me go, sometimes I'd stay here. There was this one day where I couldn't go, and she never came back. I was really scared. I finally went up there and found her, 
but she was hurt really bad. I couldn't even bring her home. At least, at least I was able to hug her before she died. If you want. This doesn't mean we're friends, you know? 